hello everyone in this video I'm gonna install a storage server and we are going to configure the storage server as well so uh, let's see in order to install a storage server which is open filer server I have to log into the v uh, I have to log into To log into the V Cloud. From the V Cloud, I need to log into my V app. As soon as I'm there, I would. So here I'm installing a new storage box. So for that, what I need to do, I need to go into my virtual machines and I would go add a new machine. And here I would create a new virtual machine and name my virtual machine ins dash itce dash uh, 108 dash st storage so storage server actually this one is two uh, this is for demonstration I have already got one so in your case you can create the, your first one and you can name it one so this one is two and you need to select Linux and then you, what you need to select here is other Linux 64 just like we did in ESXi uh, select two CPUs for the server select expose hardware and then for the RAM select at least four gigs and here for this server 8 gigs is enough for the system but just in case we would go and select 32 gigs as a hard disk and rest is normal then we press next no need to change anything here here within the network we all know that we need to select our local network click next and then next and finish so this gives me a new virtual machine which is my storage server and so don't be confused with the different naming convention in your case you need to select your own uh, naming convention so that would be your initial and ITC 108 uh, and ST one for you so since this is started uh, this is powered off next what we need to do is to provide the CD for open filer open filer is our storage application so here I would go insert open filer and insert once the media is inserted we'll do we'll start this server and here I would go start the server now as soon as it is started we would need to so while it is starting I would I would pause the video okay server is started I would connect to the console and it is connecting expand the screen uh, so it's a straightforward install as we discussed within the class uh, open filer is a storage application it would provide us a storage from on which uh, which would be a shared storage and which is required for all of the advanced features within uh, ESXi so this is the installation open filer all we need to do is to install just click enter first click inside and then click enter as soon as you select enter it would go ahead it would it is installing the system files and it will continue to install some files it would ask few more questions which are mm, pretty much straightforward 
but there is one with one exception there is one thing that we need to do is to set up the IP address during this install so here what we need to do is to click next click next again press yes and here it's saying the it is showing you the disk drive sometimes it doesn't show this disk drive if it doesn't then what you need to do is to stop the installation and start again uh, do not change anything here because this is an automatic selection of all of the system partitions so if this doesn't appear just uh, reset re 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 uh, reboot this machine and start the installation again if you can see this disk it's all good all you need to do press next and press yes it would format remove all partition now this is a very important part here you need to set up the IP address so what we need to do is click edit and then select manual configuration here you will need to select your IP address so it would be 192 based on based on our architecture we have we should select 70 for the storage and here you can type in the subnet mask or you can also type in 24 here 24 or 255255250 uncheck IPv6 we are not using it and click OK here and manually here you need to set up your host name so this machine's name we should be uh, we should be equal to this this name so I would this is your host name or the storage appliance application server name for me it is INS ITCE 108 and ST2 so whatever your machine name is you need to type that out gateway type in your gateway the gateway that you're using in your network I am using one and your DNS is your DC if you're using a DNS so for our case our architecture is 10 that's it now next here you need to select which Eastern time zone is already selected so America New York is fine as well but since we are in Toronto we would need to select Toronto where is it here it is and next and password you can set up a password for the root account or you can leave it blank can we no it's a newer version in previous version we used to leave it blank but here it needs a password we would use a standard password which is for all our application and that is password 1 p capital password 1 I, will, I suggest that all of you use the same password for all your server application and next now it will take some time for for this installation here I will p pause the video and then once the installation is done I'll come back so after waiting for about five to eight minutes the installation was over it might take a bit longer for you but uh, eventually you would come to this screen where you need, need to reboot this server so for that you would just go reboot the machine uh, once the server is rebooted we need to do another thing and here as you can see it is trying to start all you need to do is to press enter and open filer is installed uh, so in this video we installed open filer uh, as a separate server in the next video we'll configure open filer and then configure it with uh, within vCenter as well see you in the next video